Donald Trump Jr., Ivanka Trump and Eric Trump are the three oldest members of Donald Trump's illustrious family, and each occupies a distinct position within the family empire their father established. All three of Don Jr.'s children Ivanka, Eric and them publicly support their father's administration, and in August 2020, all three gave speeches at the Republican National Convention. Beyond that, Ivanka is the only Trump child who decamped to Washington, D.C., to serve as a White House advisor to her father. Eric and Don Jr. remained in New York City to run the Trump Organization, with Eric taking on a less prominent role than his brother and Don Jr. moving closer to politics and becoming a vocal supporter of his father's political views. Has Ivanka's relationship with her brothers changed over the years that Donald has been in the White House, given that each of the Trump children has developed intriguing public profiles, it should come as no surprise that Donald Trump's three older children have experienced their fair share of controversy, sometimes involving one another, given his propensity for stoking conflict. Continue reading to learn how Ivanka, who is frequently referred to as Donald's daddy's girl, has traveled the occasionally bumpy path to fame alongside her two successful brothers. It was almost inevitable that Donald Trump Jr., Ivanka Trump, and Eric Trump's relationships would be close from an early age because they were all born within seven years of one another. Don Jr. In 1977, Ivanka in 1981, and Eric in 1984. Additionally, the three kids were raised by their parents, Donald Trump and Ivana Trump, in the affluent surroundings of the respective Trump properties in Manhattan and Atlantic City. Ivanka didn't exactly grow up with the same interests as most super-rich heiresses, perhaps because she was so close to her brothers. She would reportedly spend her time in Donald's office, according to Marie Claire. I would watch him bid on contracts while seated on the floor. Ivanka stated to the outlet, I just liked it. I mean, I always dress like a girl and behave like a boy, haha. I was a feminine tomboy. The three kids worked together when they were young adults working at the Trump Organization together, which was decades later. Ivanka stated in her book The Trump Card from 2009, Don, Eric and I are always sizing up our competition on the other side of the table to determine which one of us might be best suited to a particular negotiation. I'm constantly being reminded by my brother Don that you don't get what you don't ask for. Ivanka Trump and Donald Trump Jr., like all siblings, once engaged in some mischievous behavior. In our family, if you weren't competitive, you didn't eat Don Jr. recalled to the New York Times in 2017, adding, you had to fight for what you wanted. What precisely did that entail, then? It turns out that Ivana Trump, the mother of Don Jr. and Ivanka Trump, was in charge of the family's discipline. Ivana's daughter even admitted to Marie Claire that Ivana occasionally spanked her children, sometimes even in front of other people. I suppose it was for the usual reasons. I once hit a beach ball against a chandelier and broke it. That wasn't well received, Ivanka pondered. Then I attributed the blame to my brother. Ivanka's mother does, in fact, stand by the story. She recalled telling the New York Times, Ivanka claimed on Jr. So I spanked him by placing him over my knee. Mom, it wasn't me, he exclaimed. Donald Trump Jr., Ivanka Trump, and Eric Trump raced on the Aspen ski slopes, according to a popular Trump family lore. Ivanka competed against her father, of course. According to the Donald's daughter, it's in our blood we were all highly competitive. She went on to say that their parents were using their competitiveness as a ploy to get the kids to harness that competition and use it to propel forward together, collectively, as a team. According to the legend, Ivanka, then seven years old, was skiing with her family when all of a sudden she felt something on her back. She remembered telling Marie Claire, what the heck, I was asking myself. Then I understood that Donald had taken his ski pole, hooked the back of my jumpsuit, and was basically slingshotting himself over the finish line, while pulling me backward. It was all in good fun, but that's just how we are. In a 2004 New York Magazine interview with the three eldest Trump children, Ivanka also reflected on the incident, saying about their family's dynamic, we were kind of raised to be aggressive. Dad supports it. Eric chuckled about his own skiing days with his father in Aspen and corroborated the skiing rumor, saying, he would try to push me over just so he could beat his 10-year-old son down the mountain. Ivanka Trump and Eric Trump, her younger brother, developed a special bond as a result of their parents' divorce. When Donald Trump's affair with Marla Maples became known in 1990, the family life of Donald Jr., Ivanka, and Eric was upended. Donald eventually got rid of Ivana, the mother of the three children, and married Marla. Tiffany Trump, who was born in 1993, a decade after Eric, was the second Trump child that Donald and Marla had, they eventually divorced in 1997.
In an interview with New York Magazine in 2004, Eric claimed that as a result of their parents' separation, he definitely became closer to Ivanka, adding, she took me under her wing and raised me, took me shopping, tried to make me cool. Eric, on the other hand, claimed that his older brother Don Jr. had assisted him in handling the breakup in a different manner. He said, in a way, Donnie is like a mentor. He kept track of everything that he had learned from my grandfather over the years, which I was too young to understand. Donald Trump Jr., Ivanka Trump, and Eric Trump faced a new public challenge two decades after their parents' divorce, albeit one that was considerably less tragic than the split between Donald and Ivana Trump. The early 2010s were spent by Donald Trump, who had since wed Melania Trump, building his political profile, in addition to his reputation as a businessman and divisive media figure. He abruptly declared his candidacy for president in June 2015, in front of an audience at Trump Tower in New York City, that included Don Jr., Ivanka, and Eric. Eric frequently praised his older sister to the media as the Trump family navigated Donald's presidential campaign, both before and after his victory in the election. Ivanka would be a solid choice for vice president, according to Republican Senator Bob Corker, who made the claim in a 2016 Fox & Friends interview. In response, Eric said, per Politico, you must admit that she looks lovely. She's intelligent, so she has my support. Eric gave his sister more praise on Fox Business in April 2017, after their father was inaugurated. He claimed that Ivanka's popularity was due to her many attractive qualities, including her intelligence and class. Ivanka Trump was subjected to a great deal of criticism after her father's victory in the election, whether it was because she served as the president's top advisor or because she was the most prominent of her father's daughters. Ivanka's older brother, Donald Trump Jr., struck a different tone in an interview with The Atlantic in 2019. He suggested that while Ivanka was gifted with the ability to thrive in any environment, she may not have understood as well as he did how her life would become more difficult when Donald became president. This was in contrast to Eric Trump, who appeared on talk shows to defend his sister's name in the wake of criticism. Ivanka and her husband Jared Kushner were suddenly exiles on Pennsylvania Avenue, according to a 2017 Vanity Fair article about them. Ivanka later witnessed many wealthy liberals who were part of her New York social circle turn against her. Don Jr. said of Ivanka's life before the White House, she was loved by all the people in the world she wanted to be loved by. I just think I realized that after my father won, people were going to see us differently a little bit earlier than she did. Ivanka Trump left the Trump Organization to join Donald Trump's White House administration, but Eric Trump, who stayed on, continued to publicly support Ivanka and her role as a Donald Trump advisor, attributing their father's shift in opinion to their sister. Speaking to The Telegraph in April 2017, Eric brought up his father's decision to conduct airstrikes in Syria, suggesting that Ivanka may have used her own mothering experiences to persuade her father to do so. At the time, the Middle Eastern country had just carried out a chemical weapons attack that resulted in the deaths of a large number of civilians, many of whom were children. Ivanka is a mother to three children, and Eric noted that she is powerful. She must have said, listen Ivanka disagreed with her brother's interpretation of how she affected her father's choice, calling it a flawed interpretation of her White House responsibilities. It was informed at the highest levels of military and state, she told reporters, per Politico. Naturally, I offered my viewpoint and opinion. It matched his own beliefs. He made a decision after receiving a ton of advice and information. Throughout the Trump administration, there have been rumors that the two oldest Trump children, Donald Trump Jr. and Ivanka Trump, have a tense relationship. In 2017, a Vanity Fair article asserted that the investigations into the administration's alleged dealings with Russia had created rifts among members of the Trump family, citing rumors coming out of the White House that Ivanka's husband Jared Kushner, who worked as a White House advisor with his wife, may have leaked incriminating emails from Don Jr. To the New York Times in order to protect his and Ivanka's reputations. Ivanka and Don Jr.'s power struggle was described as a Cold War in a 2019 article in The Atlantic, in which both Trump children used their own teams of allies and advisors against one another, growing paranoid that the other's henchmen were planting damaging stories about them in the press. With the headline Trump Kids on the Campaign Trail, Don Jr. Wow's Ivanka Disappoints, McClatchy published one such article in 2018. Ivanka's camp was furious and believed that Don was responsible for the story, according to The Atlantic. Later, after hearing rumors that her team was discrediting him in unreported conversations with reporters, Don confronted Ivanka. Tell your staff to stop disparaging me in the media, he demanded. 
when Ivanka Trump has been the subject of unfavorable headlines, Eric Trump has repeatedly stood by her side. Ivanka was ridiculed for allegedly being complicit in her father's crimes in an early 2017 sketch on Saturday Night Live. Ivanka later appeared on CBS News to defend herself. When questioned about the Fox Business interview, Eric defended his sister, calling her immense positive force in the government. There are a lot of critics out there, and I find that to be sad. Here's a parent who pulled their kids out of school, relocated to Washington, D.C., supports our father there while working for free and has incredible talent, said he. And she has so much great stuff she can bring to Washington, D.C. Olympic skier Gus Kenworthy and other Trump family detractors booed Ivanka's appearance at the 2018 Winter Olympics, and Eric appeared on Fox and Friends to retaliate gross, and I think it's disgusting, she continued. The Olympics are not about that. The Olympics shouldn't involve politics. Eric also weighed in on Twitter, quoting Ivanka's tweet, and praised the interview as very well said, when she defended her family in a Fox News interview in 2017, denouncing the media for its attacks on the Trumps. Ivanka Trump and her older brother, Donald Trump Jr., might initially seem to be siding with the same opponents of their father's administration. But the relationship between the two eldest Trump siblings has been portrayed in the media's adversarial, with headlines speculating, so, do Don Jr. and Ivanka hate each other or what, throughout the course of the Trump administration? And on Jr. v. Ivanka, is the battle to turn the Trump presidency into a dynasty heating up? The public views Ivanka and on Jr. As their father's primary heirs, which is highlighted by media speculation that there is animosity between the two. According to a 2020 survey, Ivanka and Don Jr. are the top two candidates on Republican voters' minds for the 2024 presidential nomination, with Don Jr. drawing 29 percent of potential voters and Ivanka drawing 16 percent. The two presidential children seem to get along well in public. Don Jr. We did to wish Ivanka happy birthday in October 2019, and Ivanka posted a cute throwback photo of her Don Jr. and Eric for Don Jr.'s birthday in December 2019, writing, Happy birthday to the best big brother. I love you.